Hey guys, what's up? So, having an issue with my uh, USB buck, and it's actually a USB buck right here. And what that does is it converts 12 volts to 5 volts USB. So it allows me to run my power off my uh, power supply there, my 12 volt power supply. It's basically a converter. It converts 12 volts to 5 volts. And no matter what version of uh, Raspberry Pi I use, this is Raspberry Pi 3. And I have Raspberry Pi 2 right here. And I have version 1. No matter what version of um, Raspberry Pi, I get this lightning bolt warning right there. And you can see that. It's right here. And it's always warning about uh, voltage and uh, CPU capping. So let's go here. So, 100 volt. So, um, since I can't really see what voltage this thing's putting out, um, originally I was just going to make a like a test USB cable. But then I went online and I saw this thing for um, eight bucks. It's like a little digital USB meter, which will allow me to hook it up in line. Please peel off before application. So it's like a little. Oh, that's ridiculous. I took the whole thing off. Um, the sticker took off this LED cover lens. Okay, so it's like an inline um, thing here. I'll show you that to show. It's going to tell me what the voltage and current draw is. So I'm going to put that in right now. And we'll see. Um, it says under voltage. So what I might have to do is get a new USB book that has an adjustable regulator, voltage regulator. So I've actually this is my second USB book that I've tried. With the same exact problem so i wanted to upgrade to raspberry pi 4 but i mean if i can't get this problem solved with the one two or three then it's you know the raspberry 5 raspberry pi 4 even draws more power so all right i'm gonna get this set up and put a line just gonna pull out right here and uh put that in i guess we're just trying right now i've never used this thing you saw me open it up so all right that's weird. So, 5.18 volts. If you can see that. 5.18 volts. But now it's connected to it so that I shouldn't get a current draw. Let's see if I can get that plug in. Okay. So 5013 volts, and it's powering up the Raspberry Pi, Pi 3, and the Pi 3 should drop about, I think, 2.5 amp max, but right now it's dropping point, point 0.5 amp, 500 milliamps, 570, 600, whatever. Um, okay, so now it dropped down to 495. Okay, and that's probably where I'm getting the undervolt warning, where I need to probably stay around 5, but... Alright, so I think I need to get a, a new USB buck with an adjustable output regulator to make that warning go away. So, like, yeah, I had no clue what was going on while I was getting that warning, but for 8 bucks now I know it saved me a lot of time. I don't have to buy a custom make a cable. I was going to put like a tap, make a little tap cable where I could tap in my multimeter to do it. All right, man. Yeah, I want to get this thing solved. It's like uh, it's driving me crazy here. All right, yeah, because when you get like a lower voltage like that, it's gonna like lower the frequency. It's kind of frequency cap. So, all right.